Hey guys and welcome to today's tips and tricks video with the Samsung Galaxy S3. So today we'll be taking a look at a keyboard app that uh, could make you type easier, faster and you know more efficient. And this is, I mean, I've never been a guy that have wanted to change my keyboard and I type a lot. So, uh, but not, you know, not lately there have been coming out some amazing apps, some apps that let you, um, you know, you just, um, uh, instead of typing like this, you just uh, drag uh, across the letters and then the words come up. So an awesome app for doing that, and this is also built into the stock version of Android 4.2, the latest version of Android. It's an app called Swift Key Flow that you can do this with. And I'm pretty sure that I would try this app right now on my main phone as well. So it's called actually Swift Key Keyboard, but it has a feature. Uh, the feature that's being called Swift Key Flow, which is an awesome feature that basically lets you swipe across the letters instead of typing like this, you can you know probably type so much faster just by uh, going like let's say you want to type let's say you want to type how, then you swipe from H uh, to O to W like ch okay. So there's some pictures of it. You can also have different themes on the keyboard. Uh, so I thought we can demo it out a little bit. And also has personalized settings. Uh, uh, you can sync it up, this keyboard, to your Facebook typing behavior and your Twitter behavior and your Gmail behavior and also your, your SMS text behavior. So you can see that there are a bunch of different colors here. And this actual app was actually free. So uh, I think we can fire up Evernote here and try it out. So the cool thing with this keyboard, as you can see down here now, uh, is that it supports up to three different languages that you can use at the same time. And you use uh, the first time you set it up, you download, it will exactly tell you first you need to select the language you're gonna type in, and then you need to uh, change your default keyboard to the Swift key keyboard, but of course you can always go back. So let's uh, type in, uh, let's try to type in once upon a time, and use by swiping. So let's see. So you can do once upon a time, and I didn't, uh, I, I was just swiping, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I think that, uh, as I said, I think I'm definitely gonna use the keyboard a lot in the future, and I mean, it's definitely will be easy when you have just one hand, and especially with a large phone, like if you have a Galaxy Note, and you don't wanna use the phone like this, you know, you can swipe, and I think that it will be easy. Uh, and now I'll try out with a different language because I actually have my native language Swedish that I also will try out here on a new row. So uh, now I'm going to type in Swedish once upon a time, uh, I'm pretty sure. So let's try this out. So almost, I almost did hit it. And this program also will, will see your typing behaviors and I'm pretty sure that it will uh, become easier and easier to use it once uh, this Swift key, uh, Swift key, Swift, uh, Swift key keyboard uh, learns how you type. Let's try one more time. So it's, I, I think this app is so amazing. Uh, because I, I'm pretty sure that I will, once I get really, really good at it, uh, using my smartphone only with one hand and typing. Usually on my Galaxy Note 2 right now, I type with two hands. And uh, then also it feels like uh, the Swift key, this uh, Swift key uh, flow, that's the feature that lets you swipe and type. Uh, it's a feature that's not available when you type in passwords or usernames, uh, but uh, I, I, I guess that's fine. Um, so if you want to try it out, it's free. It is available in the Google Play Store. And let's try to type one more thing here. And we can also go into the settings area and check it out. So you you get a lot of help here with SwiftKey. You do have the how-to videos that they do have over here. Uh, but then also they have here SwiftKey Flow. That's the feature. If you, you can also disable it if you don't like sliding your finger if you finger over the screen if you only want the the theming, uh, but language and layout, you can see that I have Swedish and English enable, and then personalization, uh, it's pretty cool, I'm probably not gonna use it because I don't use Facebook. I use Gmail though, I might try that out more in the future, but I don't uh, you know, send that many emails. Uh, learn from Twitter, I don't use Twitter that much. Uh, learn from SMS texts, of course, that, that could be pretty cool, maybe. 
but you know, after you use it for a while, I'm pretty sure that you will see some uh, th that it goes one uh, that that uh, your efficiency increase. You you would type so much faster. You can see here some stats here. Uh, your typing heat map and some stuff that would be fun to see in the future, maybe uh, where you can see how long distance you have flowed and the efficiency and the words predicted and the typos corrected and all those cool things. So if you want to check it out, it's in the Google Play Store and uh, over 100 million people or 1 million people have downloaded it. So maybe you should check it out. Maybe it can increase your speed uh, by typing. So yeah. Until next time, just have an awesome day. And if you do know any other cool tips and tricks, and stuff you want to see on, on your Galaxy S3, please let me know that in the comments section down below and I might do a video about it. Yeah, have a good day.